This video covers question four, part A from the 2021 AP Calculus AB free response, no calculator allowed portion of the test. I cover A, B, C, and D in their own separate videos. So if you want to see B, C, and D, go check out my other videos. Uh, this one's just going to be talking about part A here. The first thing that I do on any AP calculus question when I've got a graph in front of me is I want to make sure I know what that is the graph of. And they have labeled very clearly here that this is the graph of f of x. So I know what I'm looking at is the graph of f of x right now. Then let's go take a look at what the question is actually asking us. They want to know specifically when the graph of g is concave up. So they're talking to us about the graph of G and they want to know when it's concave up. When you see the word concavity or con concave up or concave down, when we're talking about concavity, concavity is a second derivative game. So whenever your second derivative is positive, that's when your graph would be concave up like a cup. Whenever that second derivative is negative, that's when your graph would be concave down like a frown. So now we've got to say to ourselves, well, how am I going to relate this f of x graph to g of x and find out the concavity? Well, we can see here that they are telling us that g of x is equal to the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. And in order to find out the concavity on G, we need to find out the second derivative of G. That's what's going to tell us how to read off concavity. So the first thing we can do is we can go ahead and take the derivative of both sides of this. We can ddx this. This is what's known as the fundamental theorem of calculus part one. You know it's the fundamental theorem of calculus when you see, you know, this x any any equation sitting up inside your integral here 99 times out of 100 this is the fundamental theorem of calculus part one and 99 times out of 100 what they're going to want you to do is finish up that rule which requires us to take the derivative of both sides well when i take the derivative of the left side i end up getting out g prime of x and when I take the derivative of the right side, derivatives and antiderivatives cancel each other out. And what ends up happening is that x just drops down into that equation. So what I'm looking at right now, what that tells me is that g prime of x is equal to f of x. So not only is this the graph of f of x, this is the graph of g prime of x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that fact to read off the derivative from that. I'm going to take my g prime of x graph and from there I'm going to read the derivative off of it to get out my second derivative information. So we have to we're going to read off we're only taking a first derivative. We're going to read off first derivative data. But because we're reading it off of a graph of the first derivative, reading it off, taking the derivative of a derivative, gets us our second derivative. So when you're reading derivative information, remember whenever the graph is headed up, that's where it would be positive. And in this situation, that would tell us where our graph is concave up. Wherever the graph is headed down, that's where it would be negative, And that would be telling us where our g graph is concave down. So if I come through here and just sort of work from that idea, wherever this graph is going up, those are positive derivative values. This is where that's going to be concave up. Wherever it's headed down here, all of these negative spaces, that's the graph headed down. That's actually telling us where the graph is concave down. And then we end up with more positive coming through here. And so that would be where our graph is again concave up because it's got a positive second derivative. Remember, we're, we have the graph right now of the first derivative of g, and so we read off the second derivative information to find out what our concavity is, what our second derivative is. So we want to know when is the graph concave up, so we want to know when is our second derivative positive. Well, it's going to be positive along this section here from negative 4 to 2, so concave up from negative 4 to negative 2, and then union that with, connect that with this interval here from, that would be starting at 2 and ending at 6. 
So that's using interval notation to describe what the interval would look like. You could also have written your answer as x is greater than negative 4, less than negative 2, and then a comma, and you could say x is greater than 2 and less than 6. But either one of those would have been what they're looking for here. Uh, this question would have been worth technically three points. They kind of give you one point overall on this type of problem from just knowing, making that connection right there. And then from this point, you would go ahead and get an additional point from scoring out the rest of the of, of this data here that you made the connection between the first derivative of our graph and the fact that it reads off the the concavity and getting out your final answer right there is going to get you that final point thanks for watching my video if you liked it please click that like button and subscribe and also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming ap calc test you can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.